Hello guys, this is Andy from DJ Visuals and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up your QVP Studio plugin inside Unreal Engine and how to create these effects. Okay, the first thing is what you downloaded, this is what you get, the different version 4.26, 4.27 or Unreal Engine 5, it depends on what you want to use. So the first thing is you're going to extract the version that you are going to use, in this case I'm using the 4.27, I'm using WinRAW. All right, so if I, get, I get this QVP Studio folder. This is what I get. So this folder, I'm going to move it into the Unreal Engine version folder I'm going to use. So for example, I'm using 4.27. I'm going to go to the Engine folder and Plugins folder and market, Marketplace folder. And I'm going to copy this folder right there. So I already have it installed, so I will copy that. And for the controller, I just double click on the installer and it will auto install and it will auto run. So if you get any message about permissions or network, just allow it. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, after you open your project, the one that you are going to use, the first thing we need to do is enable the QVP plugin. To do so, we just go to the edit menu, plugins, let's type QVP. So we got this QVP studio, I have it already enabled, so after you enable this, it will ask you to restart, just restart, and that's it. So now we need to go to the QVP content folder, to do so, we're gonna go to our content browser here in our content folder. Let's scroll down all the way. Let's scroll all the way down. Sorry, if you don't see all these folders, make sure that you go to here where it says view option in your content browser and enable show and your content and show plugin content. So, all right, so now let's scroll all the way down till the queue, and we got here the QVP studio content folder let's go to blueprints and this is the available tools right now for the qvp so the first thing we're going to do let's drag our qvp director here into the scene and now we have it this is basically the brain of the qvp the thing that makes the main connection to this controller so yeah okay so now let's go to our word settings tab here. If you don't see it, just go to window word settings and you should be thick. So here in game mode overwrite, let's type WVP GM. This is what we're gonna use the WVP GM. Okay, so after we set, let's save and now, if we click here in our director back and go to our details, we see here that we got this QVP connection thing. So this is basically what we set the connection to this. It's set to localhost port 5000 automatically, but for now the, the fixed port is the 5000. But the IP address is localhost because I'm running it in this same PC. If I had QVP Studio in order PC, I need to copy this URL without the HTTP just the URL as you can see it and the port and I just gotta paste it here and that's it here I have the project name so now let's make sure that our connection is working here I'm gonna set this to simulate for now and let's hit simulate and if I go to QVP and I open my main panel as you can see we got this green light it's telling me it's UA client connected and here it says connected to QVP test PRG. This is basically the name of the project. You gotta be careful with this, so you should leave it as this. But if you are going to create a new, you know, a copy of this project with a different event, you should set the name at the beginning so to avoid convenience. All right, cool. Well, we got our connection working. So the first, the, what we're going to do now, we're going to set events. I mean, we're going to set trigger. We're going to create a basic button here in QVP. So when we click that button, it will do something here in Unreal Engine. So to do so, let's just drag a queue, for example. 
we're gonna use the the method one because you have we have two ways to do it we can do it from here from the blueprint from the level blueprint and also we can do it from the actor itself let's do it from the act from the actor itself let's pretend this is a blueprint actor that we created so let me convert it to a blueprint actor so convert to blueprint class i'm gonna name me bb cube test and i'm gonna go to i'm gonna save it in my content folder in my root folder so i can just duplicate it from this and i gotta open my my blueprint actor editor so in order for me to convert this to a uh, quick vp compatible actor i just need to go here my components and add a quick vp dynamic sorry a quick VP dynamic component and we can see it now i can click on compile if i click in my quick VP dynamic i see here i see here it says event name here basically i'm going to set the name that the button will have by default or the name of the event in this case will be toggle cube because i want i want to hide or unhide the cube i'm going to compile save and i go back to my editor and i keep playing simulate and if i go to my quick vp i got this button now this toggle cube button so as you can see so for now i'm gonna open i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna open my events panel so i can make it smaller so if i click on there nothing absolutely nothing happens so basically i just said i mean i just created the button i just tell I just told QVP that the event will exist, but I haven't assigned entity to, I mean, when I click that button, what will happen? So let's go to our event graph, right? And we're going to use the event begin play for this. So I'm going to drag my QVP dynamic and I'm going to click here in this pin and I'm going to drag out and I'm going to type bind and I'm going to select bind event to play QVP event. So this means. I'm telling Unreal Engine what event it will run when I click on the button from QVP. So I'm gonna click here in this event pane and I'm gonna type custom to create a new event. So basically it's gonna play QVP, you can put whatever name. And what do I want to do? So I wanna hide the, the cube. So I'm gonna set actor hide in game. Okay. So for now, I'm going to use a flip-flop node. I'm going to plug his here. So this is basically, it's basically an auto toggling. It means it will start as A. So when it run again, it will be as B. So this is the value. So if it's A, true. If it's B, it, this will be false. So I'm going to set this as, as this, and then I'm going to plug this too. This is just a quick example. So I'm going to compile, and then hit save. Now, if I go here and simulate, go to my quick VP and click on my button, you can see the cube appears and disappears. So cool, it's working. So again, I think I can go just just copy this address and paste it in whatever browser window. I mean, let me just open the window here. I can paste it here. I got this. Let me just make this smaller and I can toggle it as well. As you can see, I got the feedback, so it's working. So cool. You could do the same for any you know mobile phone that is connected to the same network. All right, now, what if I want to, I mean, what if I want to create a data-driven event? So in QVP, you can share text data. For now, you can share text. I'm planning to add some texture support for the future or some colors or something i'm gonna work with that but for now you can work with text now how does it work if i go here right uh, in my qvp dynamic you see we got this data fields and right variable where we can set the data field so let's suppose this is a lower tier and we want to have a name and a last name so i'm going to create a new field will be called name I'm gonna create another one, what we call last name. Okay, now I'm gonna compile and say, what I'm going to do? 
let's just do some tests with this so i'm gonna create a for each it, it is a it is a loop and it's basically important that you have you know basic knowledge of blueprinting to understand this so i'm gonna create a loop here right and i'm gonna print i'm gonna print the data that i get so it's cool let me compile and let me hit save and let me hit play so if i go here to my QVP, i'm gonna open my main panel so i can customize the data i'm going to send and you know now we got this this button with this option with this gear icon so let me just make it bigger if i click on that you will see you see that we get the name the last name which is basically the data set by default if i click here and I just go into edit name to be Andis and last name to be Paris. And here, this is basically the title of the button. So I'm gonna say this to Andis Paris test. And if I click now, I get this Andis Paris. You can see it. So cool. All right, now if I want to send another name, for example. I don't have to like you know go here and then modify no just can click here and duplicate for example this will be amanda for for example amanda i'm gonna set this to wilson the last name so the bottom title will be amanda wilson so now as you can see i got two different bottoms if i click on andy sparrows i get andy sparrows if i click on amanda wilson i get amanda wilson so it's cool so this is how you can basically create instances of the same of the same event sorry you can create instances of the same event and then send different data so like you can create as many duplicated as you want so for example another one uh tommy versetti or whatever so i'm gonna say tommy and let's hit say now you had it you get we get tommy versetti so that's cool. Now let's take back this. This let's take it back to previous way to the, with the tiling thing. Let me just compile, hit save. Let's hit play. If I go back to PvP, I got to still have the buttons. If I click it, you know it will perform the function, I suppose. But you know it, it has the the data. Let's delete the data. Because we are not gonna use it. This is just for totally the queue. And now if I hit play, I get this button that I can delete because they did nothing basically. So I can click on that. Now, what if I duplicate this queue, right? And when I hit play, if you if I click on the QVP, you can see it's just working on the second one because they're QVP relies on the event name. So if I go here in my details, scroll down, I'm sorry, select the dynamic component. You see, we got this toggle cube as event name. Let's set toggle um, second cube. And now if I hit play, I'm sorry, you can see that this one is toggle second cube, I'm sorry. And this one still has the toggle cube thing. If I hit play, go back to my QVP, I got the second cube now. And it's Paris because I said the name previously. So you can see now it's stuck on this cube, and this one is stuck on this cube as well. You can see it. So let me just change the event name of this to toggle first cube so you can see the difference. And now if I hit play and go to my quick VP, I get this toggle first cube and toggle second second cube. So I got two different, I mean I got two different instances of the same blueprint actor that has its own trigger from QVP. So this is how you can set the, I mean, this is how you can set the events from the, from the actor itself, but you can also set the event from the, from the director. So in order to do so, you just go to the blueprint, open level blueprint, sorry, level blueprint, and the same procedure in the begin play, I'm just gonna drag my QVP director from the outliner to my blueprint and the same. So just bind event to play QVP event. There you go. 
There you go. Now the event will be a custom event. We'll be play PvP. And let's suppose. Uh, okay. So here, you see, I got the custom events, right? So this is where I set the events. So instead of instead of creating the event from here, I mean, so I'm going to open the cube and I'm gonna convert this custom event. I'm gonna create a new event so you can just to have an example. So let's create a custom event. So I'll go cube, right? Okay, I'm gonna compile and save, and I'm gonna drag my cubes from the outliner to here. So now here in my director, I got the custom events variable. So I want two events. So this one will be toggle cube one, and the other one will be toggle cube two. Now, if I hit play and go to my QVP, you see I got toggle cube two and toggle cube one in the previous you know, the previous event from the cube because they still have the QVP, the QVP component. But let's ignore, it. let's just focus on total cube one, total cube two. So nothing happens. What I'm going to do now is you see the total cube one is the event number zero and cube two is the event number one. So I'm gonna use a switch here in my blueprint, my level blueprint, and this event ID, I'm gonna use a switch. Now, I'm telling this, if it's the event one, so let me just disable the default, let me add one, zero, and one. So what I'm telling, if it's the event zero, which is basically the first one, I'm gonna toggle, toggle this cube. Then let me just see, oh, is that I just wrote with two O's, so. <laughs> toggle cube, so you gotta be careful with the, with the, how you write it. So we're basically, yes. Now let me just duplicate this by, Right click on it and duplicate or control W. And I'm gonna plug this here, which will be basically the cube two. So this is the the when I click the when I click this toggle cube one, it will toggle this one. So and if I click here, toggle cube two, it will toggle this one. So let's test it out. Now if I hit simulate and now if I toggle cube one, you see it? Working so same with Toggle Cube two. <laughs> so so cool. Yeah, this is basically how you set the events. Basically, you can combine them. You know, you can achieve. I think you can achieve, achieve a lot with it. So in the next videos, I will explain how to you know how to properly use this. And in the next video, also I will t we'll talk about actually about the the cameras. <clears throat> Okay, so thank you. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and go ahead and check your Patreon if you would like to support. And see you in the next video.